Hi, I'm Heather Mitz, an executive director with Color Street, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how to make a Google Form. I use Google Forms for a lot of things. Uh, one of them that I use and the most uh, used form that I have is my Google Form to collect sample requests. So the way to start a Google Form is I just go to Google and I search Google Forms. This is always the first one that comes up. Google Forms, create and analyze surveys for free. And when you click on that, it will take you, as long as you're signed into your Google account, it's going to take you to this screen. You just click on Go to Google Forms. And now you can make a Google Form from scratch. It gives you some template ideas. You can do a contact, a party invite. I don't really use any of these, but you certainly can if you want to take a look and just modify something, such as using that order form, that might be a good one to just modify. But I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. So when you open up Google Forms, you can click on blank. It's going to open up a blank Google Form. The first thing that I like to do, because I am a visual person, is make my background cute. You can pick a different color or you can pick an image from their image collection. I always go to travel because I love travel and I typically pick something that I love in the travel section. We're going to go with this beach scene. That's fun. And it'll bring this up in the background here. Now another thing you can do is put your own logo back there and if you wanted to do that instead when you clicked image uploader you would just upload your, upload your own photo by clicking this right here. Once you're out of there, now the next thing that I like to do is click here on this settings button and I always ask for it to collect an email address. That way it will always ask for their email address and it will provide me with their email address. And let's give this a name, Color Street Sample Request. You can name it whatever you'd like. And then I give a little bio of what I'm doing. Hi, my name is Heather and I'd like to send out a sample so you can try Color Street. You can just continue to add information there. I always like to end with, um, you know, love or XOXO, my name, and I always put my contact information on here just in case someone found my sample form and they want to get in touch with me. So I always make sure I put that there. Now this is easy. Like I said, guys, you just Click on Untitled Question, and first thing, put a question in. Have you tried Color Street before? And then you can change your options. Yes, you can add no. Now, if you want them to give you an answer where they write it out, if you click right here, you can choose that they give you a short answer to make them type something out or a paragraph. You can have them put check boxes. Uh, so, for example, would you like to try a solid or a glitter or a French? You could have them put a checkbox in if you're giving them options of what kind of sample you are sending out. Uh, I have a few different types of questions that I always ask on my sample form. Have you tried Color Street? Then simple, what's your address? What's your email? Which is the first question. What's your name? So name, address, and then... Um, I also ask them if they're how they found me, whether they found me from my business page or my VIP group or another area, and I allow them to fill in where they found me at. And you could add an other option like this. How did you find my sample request? Facebook. Instagram and then you could click add other and then they fill out the other area instead. One thing that I always like to put on my sample request is what else would you like more information on? And here's what I say for that question. I make it a checkbox because if they want information on all of this I'm going to give them options. How to earn free Color Street, and that would be if I'm going to book a party with them. How to become a stylist and start earning money from home. How to order more nails. 
And that way, when I get this order, this sample request back, let's say I send it out to 10 of my friends and I get this request filled out and sent back to me, I now know who I should talk to about having a nail bar, who I should talk to about joining Color Street, and who wants to just order at this point in time. It doesn't mean I'm writing them off and I'm never going to talk to them about these two areas, but I at least get some leads right off the bat. So always add those in. And that's pretty much it. So this becomes a really easy way to ask all the questions that you want. I try to make it short and sweet. And you can look at what it looks like by clicking on that little eye. So here's my Color Street sample request. They hit submit. Now here's another cool thing to do with this. When you, if you want to, if you're a graphics uh, or a graph nerd like I am, you can set it up so all of your responses go to a spreadsheet. So you click on the responses, click on this button here, and you're going to select a response destination. Once you've done that, you're going to create a new spreadsheet. So you can label it sample request data or you know whatever is going to make you easily remember what you set this up for and you hit create. Now let's say someone fills out my request. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. When you click on send right here you can get the actual link to your sample form, shorten it, make it look a little nicer. And I'm going to fill this out so you see what happens with my data, how I save it. I'll put my email in here. Have I tried Color Street? Yes. Found you on Facebook. I want to do all the things, right? And I'm going to submit. Now, when I come back here, I can see now that I have one summary response. If you have 10 people that have filled it out, they'll all be here on the summary form. If you click on a name, it's going to take you to their individual form. But the cool thing is, if you click back on these little dots and you click the select response destination, and it says responses are currently being sent to this spreadsheet, click there. It will take you to a spreadsheet that has now filled out all the information that I needed to send out that sample. Obviously, I, did, I left off address and um, name, but you'll want to add that on your sample request. So here it is. It's now showing me all the things they want to do. It's giving me all the information. And what I like to do is once I've sent their sample request out, I go and I fill their line in green. That way I know that I've handled their sample request and I can come back and look and see who still needs a sample. But that's it. That is how easy it is to make a Google form I will post in the comments my Color Street sample request so you can get an idea and feel free to use my mine as a guide or an outline to making yours. And then you will have a sample request as well so you can start getting samples sent out and getting some leads generated. Have a great day, you guys.